Good morning, Julia. We have returned from our honeymoon. I'm finally going to start my marriage life with Kai. I'm sure there are things I'm not good at as a wife, but I'm going to do my best. Huh? Are you texting me some joke right after you returned from your trip? Excuse me? I never intended to accept you as my daughter-in-law. I attended the wedding only for Kai. It was never for you. So please don't get the wrong idea. Oh, I want to have a good relationship with you, Julia. Now that I'm married to Kai, you're important for me too. Stop it. You're making fun of me, aren't you? What do you mean? I'm not making fun of you. I didn't graduate from a smart school like you. I didn't get good grades like you. I didn't get a job at a famous company. My husband already passed away, so I know you're looking down on me and making fun of me. I never thought about you like that. You are very important to me. I guess you became a good liar if you were smart in school. You better remember that I will not be fooled by your cheap words. I don't consider you as my family. Rose, are you out? Hi, Julia. Yes, I'm on a business trip. Huh? Are you leaving Kai home alone again? No, this time we both happen to be away on business trips. You're still working all the time, aren't you? Well, you built a house, so I guess you guys have to work hard. Yes. By the way, I'm at your new house right now. What? You are? What on earth are you doing? I was wondering if the leaves have been falling in your yard lately. What do you mean? Well, it's getting cold these days, so I thought it would be perfect to have a bonfire in the yard. I thought it would be a good idea to clear away the fallen leaves at once, you know? Then the wind was so strong that the house was caught on fire. What? Are you serious? The house was on fire, so I guess... I burned down your new house. Wait a minute. Julia, are you kidding? I'm not kidding. That's why I'm texting you right now. I'm letting you know because I didn't want you to be surprised when you came back. Julia, what were you thinking coming to our house and starting a bonfire and burning down the house? It's too insane. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't graduate from a smart school like you. And I didn't get good grades like you, so I guess I don't have any common sense. So, you're trying to tell me that I'm a lowlife, right? That's not what I meant. I just think what you've done is insane. Whatever. But you said I was family, didn't you? Of course you would forgive me because we are family, right? Even though you're my mother-in-law, there are things I can forgive and things I can't. You broke into our house without permission, started a bonfire, and caused a fire. That's a crime. Huh? You are going to make your husband's mother a criminal? I can't believe it. Julia? If you're so attached to your new house, why don't you just rebuild it again? You are working hard at a good company and earning a lot of money. So rebuilding a house is no big deal for you, right? No matter how hard we work, we can't afford to rebuild a new house. Do you have any idea how hard we worked for three years to save money? How would I know? Kai and I talked about how we wanted to build our own home before we have a baby. We've been working really hard to get that house built. And then, we finally built this house. Burning it down is unforgivable. I don't need you to forgive me. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you before it becomes a big fuss. Julia, you set fire to our house and not a single word of apology? Don't talk to me like that. I was just making a bonfire to clear away the fallen leaves. Besides, the new house is in Kai's name, right? I'm his mother, so I should be allowed to do whatever I want. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I've told you many times 
This is a crime. Please keep that in mind. What crime? Don't be silly. Well, if you're going to rebuild, I'll help you with the design, so call me anytime. Huh? Kai, we're in a lot of trouble. What's wrong? I just got a text from your mother. She says the house was burned down. Huh? Burned down? What are you talking about? Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I'm on a business trip too. Oh, yeah, that's right. According to Julia, it looks like she broke into our yard without permission. Huh? Why? She was making a bonfire in the yard to clear away the fallen leaves. And a strong wind blew and set the house on fire. What? What was she thinking? Does she even understand what she did? Doesn't she realize that's a crime? I know. If she knew what she was doing, she wouldn't have broken into our house without permission. It must be my fault. Huh? Actually, I didn't tell you about it, but when I contacted Julia the day after we returned from our honeymoon, she said she doesn't consider me as family. She also said she attended the wedding just for you, and not for me at all. She said that? Why didn't you tell me about it? I wanted to be friends with her. I wanted us to be a real family. I thought that she might change her mind eventually, but she didn't. She often spoke harshly to me. And even worse, there was this bonfire. I didn't know that was happening. I'm sorry I didn't notice. There's nothing for you to apologize. So, did she report the fire to the police? I think there's probably a lot of neighbors there, so... I'm sure someone has reported it, but I haven't heard anything yet. It's kind of weird, isn't it? What should I do? Shall I call the police? Wait a minute. Hey, Rose? What are you going to do with that house? Are you going to rebuild it? We can't rebuild a house that easily. But it was your dream house, wasn't it? I think it would be better to rebuild it if it's possible. I'm sure you guys are capable of paying it. We both work, but it was never easy to build a house. If you rebuild the house, I can take care of the fallen leaves for you. I can clean up quickly by having a bonfire. So, if you ever want to rebuild, just call me anytime. You cost the fire by having a bonfire at our house. Are you harassing me? Huh? You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. Don't talk to me like that. But I'm sure you trespass on our private property without our permission. And it's not right to have a bonfire in a residential neighborhood in the middle of a windy day. I can only think of it as harassment. If you want to think that way, be my guest. That's what I don't like about you. What? You always look down on me like you're a big shot. When did I ever look down on you? You've been making fun of me the whole time. Just because you graduated from a smart school, got good grades and got a job at a good company. It does make me want to harass you since you've been looking down on me like that. Are you relieved that our house burned down? Huh? Did it make you feel better? Yes, it feels so refreshing to see that you're in trouble. <laughs> I see. I understand how you feel. I just got back from a business trip in a hurry, so I'm off to see the house. Hi, Julia. I just arrived at our house and nothing has changed. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm here in front of your house too, but you're not here. You must be so shocked that you've lost your mind. Your house has burned to a crisp. No, it's not. The house is still here, and there's no sign of a bonfire in the yard. Oh, Rose, poor little thing. You must be hallucinating. I'm sorry, but your dream home was burned to a crisp in an instant. I knew something was wrong. My new house is scheduled to be completed next month. 
I think you have finally lost your mind. Your dream house is nothing but ash and you're just dreaming. You're pathetic. I'm serious. My house is not finished yet. I can have Kai to check it out. Huh? Then what is this house? It's the home of a complete stranger. I somehow had a doubt about what you've said, so I went to the police to check it out. Huh? Fortunately, the owner of the house was out of town and away from home. There were no injuries or anything, but as you predicted, they seemed to be looking for someone who caused the fire. A stranger's house? No way! Listen, Julia, if our new house had caught fire, Kai would have been the first to be notified, but I didn't hear anything from him, and I was not notified either. That's why I felt strange when I got the text from you. The police did not contact you? Nope. Maybe you missed the incoming call. No, I didn't. I checked my phone many times, and I actually visited the police station. I'm certain it wasn't our house. It can't be. I asked Kai. About what? I asked him where the new house is and how it looks like. And as he said, the house had a garage and a balcony. Julia, there are lots of houses with a garage and a balcony. It's not just our house. And it was a white house, just like he said. There are many more white houses. Julia, I think you should turn yourself in to the police immediately. Why? Because you burned someone's house to a crisp. What else would you do? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. You set this up to humiliate me, didn't you? Why would I do such a thing? You've been disrespecting me all along. You have made fun of me for being low. That's why my existence has become so annoying to you. Julia, I never once thought of that. I've always wanted to be friends with you, and I've been trying this whole time. It was you who didn't accept that, remember? Then you should go to the police. You've been trying all this time to get along with me, haven't you? As a daughter-in-law, it's natural for you to protect your mother-in-law. So go to the police instead of me. We're family, so you can do that. I can't do that. Even if I lied, they would find out in a second. Admitting guilt can lead to a more lenient outcome. Please go to the police as soon as possible. You are looking down on me after all. Huh? You're trying to turn me into a criminal and disconnect me, aren't you? I know what you're thinking. Fine. The owner of the house is Kai, so I'll ask him to take care of it. That boy would never do anything to make me a criminal. I'm sure he will protect me. I understand. If you think so, go ahead and contact him. Kai, listen to me. I have fallen into Rose's trap. She is about to make me a criminal right now. Please help me. She told me about it. Mother, what have you done? You've done something terrible. No, I didn't. It's her fault, not mine. Why is it her fault? Because she told me to do it. She told you to do what? Because the new house is covered with fallen leaves. She asked me to help her clean it up. So I went to your new house, but she didn't show up. I had no choice but to make a bonfire to deal with the fallen leaves on my own. And the house caught on fire. It was all her plan. Wait a minute. She had a business trip scheduled for today for a long time. How could she ask you out on a business trip? Well... Besides... What good would it do to her to burn down the new house we've finally built? She was looking forward to it so much. Why would she set it on fire? There's no way she would do that. Enough with the false accusations. There's no way Rose would do such a thing. Kai, why don't you believe me? That woman has looked down on me the whole time. She thinks I'm a lowlife. I'm sure she's trying to get rid of me by framing me as a criminal. How could she do that? She always wanted to get along with you. She even made a room for you so you could move in with us whenever you want. 
What? My room? That's right. She wanted to be able to take care of you in case something happened. That's how worried she was about your future. There's no way she could burn her new house to a crisp. That's a lie. That woman would never do such a thing. She planned this whole thing to humiliate me. Speak for yourself. I'm sick and tired of you. Don't hurt Rose anymore. And stay away from us. I'm breaking off the relationship with you as of today. Don't ever come near us again. What? Kai, what are you talking about? It's Rose who has to leave. Hey, Rose, what's this all about? Kai broke off the relationship with me. Why are you trying to take away my precious son? Kai was terribly disappointed when he found out what you had done. And he was furious. Well, I guess you deserve it. Huh? It means that we can't be related to someone who commits crimes without a sense of guilt. How dare you say that to me? Since Kai left you, I am no longer your daughter-in-law either. I'm not your family, but I dare to say that you should go to the police as soon as possible. Why should I go to the police? I was just tricked by you. Are you still saying that? You trespassed on someone's private property, and you started a bonfire in their yard. And then you burned the house to a crisp because of your mismanagement. It's only natural that you should go to the police. Huh? Is that a crime? It's a crime. Oh, no. The owner of the house is the president of a major company. He built the house for his daughter and her family. He's furious that his house was burned to a crisp. Well, of course he is. The house has just been completed, and now it's burned down. They are so angry that they will do whatever it takes to catch you by any means. Oh, no. There were gloves and plastic bags in the yard, which I think they were used by you. If they take fingerprints, they will find you in no time. And then, what would happen to me? Of course the police would arrest you. I don't think you can get away with it. I just wanted to annoy you. I didn't mean to burn down a house. Still, since you caused the fire and will be charged for that. Oh no, if I don't do something, I'll end up behind bars. Rose, please help me. I can't do that. A crime is a crime. What you did is absolutely unforgivable. Don't say that. You wanted to live happily with me, didn't you? Then, if you keep this matter a secret, our dream of living in harmony will come true. How selfish can you be? You could have taken someone's life, and not a single word of remorse. I am a stranger to you now, and I have no intention of helping you. Please turn yourself in to the police. Rose, I don't want to be a criminal. Please, help me. I will not let you get away with it. I will submit this text to the police as evidence. What? You're going to do that? I'll let you marry Kai, you ungrateful bastard. After all, I don't approve you. You and I are strangers now. Say what you want. Well then, I'm off to report this text to the police now. Rose, wait a minute. After that, Julia tried to run away, perhaps because she suddenly saw the reality and got scared. Kai rushed to her house and forcibly dragged her to the police. In the end, she was arrested on the charges of trespassing and arson. After the trial, she was given a suspended sentence and did not go to jail. However, the residents of the house where the fire started were waiting for her in great anger. She was required to pay a large sum of money for the fire, and she had to take on a large amount of debt. She had invested all her money in herself and had no savings at all. The owner of the house, the president of a large company, had her work at a place he had designated for her. She was forced to work two jobs, one during the day and one at night, and I heard that she's exhausted working her butt off. I heard that she called Kai several times to ask for help. Of course, he had blocked her phone calls, so she never heard from him. She deserves it. 
since she had committed a crime. We have successfully moved into our new house, which is now complete, and we are living peacefully. We will try to live a peaceful life so that we can have a happy family. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.